All right, right. Degen Lifer here. So Coinbase CEO cites rumors that the SEC may ban crypto staking for retail customers. What? What the hell? Staking? That's like everything about crypto, man. I love crypto staking in crypto. That's where you make the most money. You make passive income. You can't take that away from us. Well, apparently that's what they want to do here in the United States. And, you know, Brian Armstrong actually tweeted about this. He said, we're hearing rumors that the SEC would like to get rid of crypto stake in the U.S. for retail customers. I hope that's not the case, as I believe it would be a terrible path for the U.S. if that was allowed to happen. And then he goes on here into the thread here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and retweet this. And then staking is really important in innovation in crypto. It allows users to participate directly in running open crypto networks. Staking brings many positive improvements to the space, including scalability, increased security, and reduced carbon footprints. Staking is not a security. Here's a good primer. So, yeah, it, it's kind of interesting and kind of worrisome at the same time because Ethereum went from proof of work to proof of stake. And if you guys are saying that staking is going to be outlawed, then that wouldn't that outlaw Ethereum all in general because of its staking consensus? It, the way that Ethereum validates its transactions is through its stakers. The people who have staked Ethereum become validators. And if they make that illegal, then Ethereum is pretty much illegal at that point. That is very crazy, scary stuff. And I'm not trying to spread any FUD here, guys. I'm not trying to spread any FUD. I'm just showing you guys what Brian Armstrong is saying, what Coinbase is saying, and what these legislators are saying. We need to take action now. We need to make sure that we guys are going to your congressmen, letting them know what you want, what you don't want in this space. Now, continue on, Brian Armstrong. He says, we need to make sure that the new technologies are encouraged to grow in the U.S., and are not stifled by lack of clear rules when it comes to financial services and Web3. It matters of national security that these capabilities be built out in the U.S. Regulation by enforcement doesn't work and encourages companies to operate offshore, which is exactly what happened with FTX. Hopefully, we can work together to publish clear rules for the industry and come up with sensible solutions that protect consumers while preserving innovations and national security interests in the U.S. So there you have it, guys. Brian Armstrong, what do you guys think about this? Are you guys concerned as much as I am? Because trust me, guys, this is very worrisome and concerning for me. Uh, leave, you leave your comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.